What is up guys, Nando here with a quick review slash comparison video. So, in the fitness industry, especially the YouTube one, there's been a craze about these two bottles, especially this guy. So we have the Umoro, Umoro 1 version 2, and then the Fuel Shaker Classic. Both of these guys are known for their ejectable cartridges. One is on the top and one's on the bottom. So let's go through the list of specs that each one has. So the first one we have is Fuel Shaker. This is one of the newer ones. So the specs that we have on this guy is that it has their signature, signature power cartridge or powder cartridge which is at the bottom as you guys can see. Technically what they, what they say if you close it is 100% leak proof. It's got a latchable loop right here to attach it to anything. Dishwasher safe. Holds about 500 milliliters which is half a half a liter and it's BPA free. Now specs for Umoro 1. So specs for this guy, they actually don't give you a measurement of how much fits in here because there's an empty space up here that is kind of immeasurable but I don't know I would say probably about 350 milliliters to 400 milliliters. It's also BPA free, top half dishwasher safe. Uh, it's cartridge holds about 500 or 50 grams and the seal is made out of rubber to ensure uh, also 100% leak proof seal. So now let me show you how these guys work. First one is a fuel shaker. As you guys can see the cartridge is on the bottom. It is bigger than the one in the Umora one which I like. So what you could do is, so as you can see I have two of them. This is actually my brothers. So like, so on the one that was in here I had my BCAs. I put my pre-workout in here in the beginning and then here I have a scoop of protein powder. In the Umoro one I had some difficulty fitting a whole scoop of protein powder even though it does say 50 grams. So the way you take it off is it. You just kind of take it off like that. You can see it right through there. Um, little eject button right here. Comes out. Put all the protein powder or whatever powder you want in there. Seal it back up. You press down make sure you get every single side. It seals in. Put it right back in there. Close it up tight. And there you go. That's all there is to it. So let's say you finish your pre-workout. You got BCAs in there. You ask, oh, it's on the bottom. How does it pop up? Something crazy. All you have to do, slip it over. Pop down. Shake it up. Works the same way. And there you have it. One thing about this that I do like is that it's only $15. It's $14.99, not including shipping. It is a cheaper feel. It's got the measurements on the side made out of plastic. I like the latch here a lot more than the Umora one because it's a lot closer. It doesn't flail around. But that is a fuel shaker. Now let's talk about the Umora one. Umora one, same concept. You have the screw on top, which is made out of rubber. In here is where you put, so let me pop this out. So you put, so let's say you have your pre-workout in here, you put your BCAs in here. Technically it says it fits up to 50 grams like I said, but I don't really believe it because it doesn't really fit one scoop of regular protein powder. But you put it in there and you close it up, press tight, make sure it clicks everywhere. Turn it, again seal it tight, and you have the red button up top. Press down, and there it goes. What I don't like about the, on the side, it's the measurement is made out of some sort of ink or sticker or something. So it does come off eventually, as you can see. This one is imprinted in the plastic, so it's harder to see on camera, but it's in there, so you can clearly see it. And then what I don't like about this, it does have a, a better feel, as in it feels more expensive, it feels classier, but it is $30 or $28.99. I don't like this flap, it just kind of flails around. I don't really know what to do with it when I'm drinking. So when I pop it open to drink, it's kind of just like there. If I go like this, it's right in the face, so I have to like hold it. You drink it like that, as opposed to this one. Just pop it up, nothing crazy, it stays in its place, you just drink it, like it's nothing. So, that really about does it for the review. All in all for the price, 
The Fuel Shaker is a much better alternative because it's half the price of the Umoro. Umoro is more, it's, it seems sturdier, it seems like it's going to last a little longer, but this one seems perfect. Uh, this one is getting a lot of hype from all the fitness YouTubers, that's why they're doing well. And it's just like, a high, I guess higher end if you want to say, this one's made out of plastic. But I do like that you can replace the cartridges and carry as many of these as you want. Each one of these I think is $4.99, so you buy as many of these as you want, put them in your bag, and you're good. So, again, $14.99. I'll put links in the description for both of them in the description box. All in all, I would go with Fuel Shaker, guys. That's just my own opinion, but do whatever you want to do. Until next time, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. That's about it, guys. Peace. Kill that outro.